Hey, I'm Tech Gadget for you. And today, we are going to be going over everything beginners on Final Cut Pro on iPad this time. Not Mac, just iPad. So, let's just get started right now. So, let's get started on how to actually make and start your video. So, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go into the corner and hit new project. And then a little like box will come up and then you can name your project. So, I'm going to call it Vision Pro. So, I'm going to do my Vision Pro video again but I already did it so it's not gonna be as good so then once you did that you can now choose the format and what that means is you can choose automatic or custom and custom makes you can basically customize anything you want for your video so landscape or portrait 4k 1080p 720 or just customize it and then color space SDR HDR and then the frame rate so you can customize your video however you want but for me automatic always works so I'm gonna hit automatic and then I'm gonna hit continue and then it's going to ask you what you want to import from, from photos, from files, camera, or blank. So blank is just, you don't start with importing anything, you'll just start with it. But for me, I'm going to start with photos. So I'm going to click the photos. I'm going to choose all of these. Okay, I hit add. There we go. And now I added those. But if you want to add any more at any point, you can hit the little button at the top. And it's like a download button, but it's actually importing. You can choose between photos or files. For me, I have a couple more in files. So I'm going to hit recent, and then I'm going to pick these three, and that's what helps my videos become better. So now I got everything I need, and let's talk about next on how to put the stuff into the timeline. So what you have to do is all you have to do is hold the project you want to do, and then you can drag it down until the little box down here, until it, the little line right here turns yellow, and it becomes all checkered. So as you can see, now it's checkered. I let go. And now it's in my timeline and I can start editing my video. Next, I'm going to show you how to make your video shorter or longer and also cutting your video or your clip, let's call it clip. So I'm going to start with showing you how to make it shorter and longer. See the little lines, yellow lines right here with the black line in the middle. All you have to do is put your finger on it and then drag it. So as you can see, now it's shortening it. So this is my intro, so I'm going to shorten it to about like right there. Okay, that's good. Now it's shortened and it doesn't take as long as I normally do. So Next, I'm going to show you how to cut it because as you can see, there's a big space between when I actually start talking. So I'm going to move this little line right here. I'm going to move it right there, right there. That's the spot where I'm going to cut it. So I'm going to click on that clip. And then in the bottom right here, you're going to see four little buttons. First one's going to be delete. The next check mark is going to be how to select other ones. And the other three are about cutting. So I'm going to use the, this one on the very, very left hand corner because that's just cutting in half. But let me hit the undo. These two, the other two, hold up, there we go. The other two cut on the first one, everything on this side of the line, and then the other one is everything on this side of the line. So for me, I just use this one because that works best for me, but you can do ones that are on one side of the line and one on the other side. So now that I cut it, let's delete that clip. So what I'm going to do is click on that clip, the one that I don't need anymore, and I'm going to hit the little trash can. There you go. Now it's gone, and this is perfectly cut, and that's shortened. So that's how you shorten your clip or yeah shorten it and make it longer and also cut it and delete it I, I guess delete is also part of it all right now I'm gonna show you how to add titles transitions and extra objects to your clip or timeline or video I can't get the words right I don't know why but as you can see in the top right here there are three little buttons this one that's what we're gonna be using so it's like a little half circle a square and a star inside of it so as you can see there's effects transitions titles backgrounds objects soundtracks what I'm going to be talking about today is transitions, titles, and objects. So let's start with transitions. So as you can see, and you may know, transitions just makes it so it seamlessly blends between two videos So or clips. And I'm going to go to this one right here, and I'm going to choose, let's do zoom and pan. So what I'm going to do is the same way I put the clips into the timeline, I'm going to hold on it, and I'm going to drag it and put it at the ending I want it to be. So I'm going to put it right there, and it's going to ask me, Shorten clips to add transitions, and then if you want to add it, just hit add transition. So now, as you can see, it now does a better job of cutting it and clipping them together, making it look seamlessly. So that's transition. Let's go on to titles next. So let's put a title like right here. Let's just say Tekken Gadgets for you. Let's go to, I'm going to go to Essential Title, but there are many other titles you can do. I'm just going to start with Essential Title, and I'm going to, again, hold on it and drag it over. Okay, there we go. And I'm going to shorten it real quick. And then, as you can see, in the box up here, a title has appeared. So, I'm going to click on that, or just click down there. And then, as you can see, this box comes up, Inspect. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Title up here, and that's how you edit it. So, I'm going to put Tech and Gadgets. 
All right, I put tech and gadgets, and now let me show you the other features. You can change the font, so I'm gonna oh, I'm gonna quickly change the font to what I normally do. Mm, this one, okay? That's what I normally do. And then you can change the size, and you can just drag it right here to make it easier instead of having to manually click that and get it perfect. But let's go down, and you can find color. So I'm gonna change the color to the normal blue I do. Here we go. And then you can choose all caps, cap size, and all of this other stuff. So you can customize the font, the title, the color, anything, just to make it perfect for you. So I'm gonna leave it like that. I'm gonna close inspect. But now I'm gonna move it. So I'm gonna move it right there. So all you have to do to move it is click on it, and once that's your title is highlighted yellow, you can just move your finger, and it'll move wherever you want. So I'm gonna just put it right there. And now, so, so now, as you can see, when I hit play, and it goes over to that spot, that title will come up right there. So. That's how you do titles. Let's get on to objects. So, objects. There are different objects you can do. This is a basic shape, but it's not just a circle. You can put it there and then hit inspect again. And then right here, you can find shape. Shape, you can change it to basically any shape. I can't click it. Square, diamond, rectangle, any shape you can think of, but I'm just gonna make it to square, because like, why not? So, now I'm gonna move it. I'm gonna click that, click it, and I'm gonna drag it right there. And then I'm going to change the size real quick, and I'm going to put that right there. So now let me just quickly change the color. Let's do orange. Okay, orange. And then you can change the roundness of it, an outline. I'm going to make the outline blue. Why not? And then that. So now it looks really funny, but I don't really mind. Now, other objects you can do. You can do, of course, if you're a YouTuber, uh, bell, play, thumbs up, cursor. Just normal stuff for being a YouTuber. So for me, I'm just going to put a like over here. Because, like, leave a like. Oh, yeah. And if you're enjoying this video, then do leave a like. It helps me a lot. And I'm going to do more Final Cut videos to help you guys on the iPad. But let's get back to it. So, as you can see, a thumbs up comes up. Now, you can change the color of it. So, color. I'm going to change it to orange because orange is my favorite color, personally. And I'm going to hit play. And then it'll do a little animation. I'm going to move it to the bottom like I always do. Change the size and move it to the bottom. So, now, when I hit play, a little thumbs up comes up so that's pretty cool that's how you do objects titles and transitions but let's get on to the next part all right i finished my little video now i'm going to import it so what you have to do is at the top where you found the import to just import other photos from or other clips from photos and files next to that you will find the record markup and the up arrow and basically send it so that's what Im you import it. so you click that and you can choose video, audio, current frame, or Final Cut Pro iPad project. For me, I'm going to hit video because it'll do video and audio. And then I can choose to include the video and audio or just video only. And then I could choose it to be high quality, smaller, small, smaller file size, or social platform. So you can choose it to be however you want. I just do default so I can save my storage. And then finally, at, like at the beginning, you can finally customize it to be however you want. Like so in 4K, 1080p, 720p, HDR, SDR, all that stuff. But that's fine for me right there. So I'm going to hit export. So once you hit export, it will start exporting it and a line will pop up. So just wait for it to finish and don't hit, don't close the app or turn your iPad off. Just leave it. So that concludes today's Tech and Gadgets for You video. I hope you enjoyed and I hope this helped you. I'm going to do, be doing more Final Cut Pro tips and like beginner stuff on the iPad because I didn't really find new videos for myself. So I was alerted myself, but I'm going to help you guys so you don't have to learn by yourself because I'm okay at this i guess but if you did enjoy the video leave a like and subscribe this is tech and gadgets for you right there you and i will see you in the next video bye